times you just don't feel like recording your image on screen. I get it, but you still want a person to hear your voice and to hear the inflection of your voice, the tone of your voice. You still need to explain something or read something and you want to have that audio and you also want to have a visual. So you may want to have a book or text or a document that you're explaining, but you don't want to be on there camera. There is a okay? really there super simple way to do this, okay? So my first example is to use a book, and it's to use a book that uh, my third grade son's class is reading. So their teacher is doing a great job of reading this online and making a YouTube video. But what about if she would like to switch it up and have the third graders go ahead and see the text and hear her voice. So this video is all about that and it's all about uh, being able to show a text and hear voice, hear your voice and hear inflection and hear emotion and hear um, all kinds of reasonings and maybe ask some questions and point people to things. Um, but you, you're not necessarily showing your face or um, showing a picture of yourself. Okay, so it's super simple. We're gonna go ahead and step through it right now. Please like and subscribe this video. That's all I'm asking. I hope you get a lot out of this. So are you looking for a way to read to your class, but you don't feel like taking a video of yourself? Okay, I found a way that you can do that. So I have gone to bookscool.com and I searched for a book that my uh, son's third grade teacher is reading, a great book called Fish in a Tree by Linda Mulhahey Hunt. And I hope I'm pronouncing her last name correctly. And it's, here's the publishing information. So I'm on this website, bookscool.com, and I searched Fish in a Tree. Okay, and this is what it's come up with. Um, I have a um, some publishing information and copyright information and then the contents. And there's all the chapters. Okay, and I'm just scrolling down. There's a letter to the teacher. And here we go. Chapter one in trouble again. It's always there like the ground underneath my feet. Well, Allie, are you going to write or aren't you? Mrs. Hall asks, if my teacher were mean, it would be easier. Come on, she says, I know you can do it. What if I told you that I was going to climb a tree using only my teeth? Would you say I could do it then? Oliver laughs, throwing himself on his desk like it's a fumbled football. Shay groans, Allie, why can't you just act normal for once? Okay, and I'm gonna stop my reading right there. So the students are now hearing my voice, they're hearing me read to them, but I'm not actually on screen. And I can then also direct them to our Google Classroom after I'm done reading. And I can say, all right guys, go to your Google Classroom now. And let me open it up right here. So go to your Google Classroom, and I want you to write for 20 minutes on, you know, what we just read. And here's your Google Classroom, and here's your assignment in your Google Classroom. All of this I'm doing without showing my face on screen, but my little students are still hearing my voice, and they're still connecting with me, okay? I'm doing this by using... Screencastify. I love Screencastify. I have a video walking you through how to use Screencastify. Okay, and I will link it here. I'm also going to show you right now. So I've been recording my voice for three minutes and 28 seconds. 29, 30. Okay, so here is the video that we just recorded, and you can see the movements that we just recorded. I'm taking you through how I found bookscool.com and how I'm reading Fish in a Tree 
Okay. And um, this is all Screencastify. I'm not doing anything. It has, when I pressed stop on recording my screen, it is now automatically sharing it to my Google Drive. Now, what I can do from here is I can just shoot this video out to my students using via uh, Google Classroom if I want to just the way that I do when I'm recording myself using YouTube. I can also open this up in a movie editor and do a couple little edits to it and then post that to YouTube or that to my Google Classroom. 